everyone, welcome to The Spotlights, the show that sheds light on anything and everything that you need to know. We're here to inspire, motivate, and entertain you in the very best way. I am your host, Becky. This is our very first episode, and guess who we have here on The Spotlight today? She's the lady with the awesome dreadlocks, an artist, a designer, an activist. The list goes on and on. So I have the pleasure of welcome to the Spotlight, Fantasy Wiz. Welcome. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Fantasy Fresh from the UK, where you represented Sir Leon at the Freedom Festival in Hull City. Yeah. So, tell me about the trip. Uh, the trip, the whole trip was amazing, and it's a good thing I took it, and um, it was inspiring. In as much as like, you know, I'm used to performing, and but it was sort of like new to me in a way. It's not a new thing, you know, performing, but you know, thousands of people, but it was new because I had to perform for over like 5,000 non civilian audience wow. and it was like, okay, you're the first artist to actually perform at the Freedom Festival and also you're the first Sierra Leonean to come represent Sierra Leone. Like the Freedom Festival is huge in the UK. So I had all that on me, like, oh my God, what if I messed up? Wow. You know, I want everything to work out. So I was like, even when I was like on the plane, I had to be going through my email because I had to do this poem. It's a very, very popular poem by Maya Angelou. It's called I Rise. Okay, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll get to that. We'll get to that. So, what was your special moment in the UK? When I performed that poem, and it has to do with uh, women empowerment. Which I'm very much passionate about, of course. and also I had to collaborate with a folk singer from Hall. You know, me, like apparently the, the only folk singer in Sierra Leone, had to go meet another like folk singer from Hall, and the whole thing it was. I'm a feminist, you know, so everything it was about, you know, as much as we're working with like women, uh, men, but it was all about women, and for me it was like. I can words can actually explain. It. Let's now talk about Fanta Camera. Okay. You hail from Northern Sierra Leone, um, Kabbalah to be precise, yeah. where you did your primary school yeah. and also you later came to Freetown and then did your high school, yeah. went to college where you studied computers. Computer engineering. Yeah. So why are you not a computer engineer? No, I just I, I, I can't I don't find myself like actually doing that. Oh really? I can, yeah, I'm like oh, I love why, I love, I, love <laughs> I don't know because I love it though. Don't get me wrong because I'm like when it comes to like social media and everything and when it comes to like computers when it comes to stuff like that I do that but I don't see myself having a career in them. Mm -hmm. So no. So were your parents disappointed that you chose to be fantasy with? No, they're not. For some reason, they were, my dad was happy, you know, he's dead now, RIP. And my mom also, they felt like, I love computers. And for me to do computer science was, you know, was, it was sort of like, okay. And they were just happy I had the paper. Because they feel like, okay, you have the paper, you could actually, you know, when you want to, you could go back to that. But me being a fantasy with is actually taking my father's side. Because I'm, I hail from a family of artists, you know, poets, singers, story, uh, storytellers, dancers, and so yeah. So it's like me just doing what I had to do. Okay, so your your songs, your videos, your dance moves, the way you dress, everything portrays the Sierra culture. So what's the drive behind this? We have so many beautiful things in Sierra Leone. I think it's, I don't think it's so beautiful in a Definitely. way that it's so beautiful and I can't get enough of it. And I feel like a lot of people are not doing justice to it. 
images. People do some some people don't know about it. And so people know about it, but they're like, whatever, you know, I wanna be, you know, I wanna be trending, I wanna be contemporary and that sort of thing. So I was like, no. You know, I want to remind you guys that we have this thing and we should be proud of it. Of course. Let's do it. So yeah. And I am definitely proud that you are different. Uh, and thank you. <laughs> you're welcome. This young lady is a different kind of young generation of musician. She decided to go purely traditional folk music. You know, when her peers are going with the hip hop and the hip life, she said, you know what, I want to stick to my culture. I want to make sure that our culture does not die. So we have people that we call the jelly bars, like the town criers, they tell stories to music. And so she's using that style to portray her music. So how do you intend to push your your type of music now that the Afrobeat thing is all around and you know? Like, I'll, I'm just gonna say that it's not being vain or anything. I don't want it to come across as something like that. But a folk singer from Sierra Leone has just been invited to Freedom Festival in Hall. You know, we do have tons of Afrobeat. No disrespect to any Afrobeat artists, okay. but that's just happened. So. <laughs> That's what I'm doing. And trust me, this is just the beginning, definitely, of so many things. Definitely. Okay, Fantasy, so now let's talk about you being an active activist, mm -hmm. a civic ambassador. So what's the motivation? I was born in Kabbalah, mm -hmm. and I grew up where, you know, I, I saw, you know, men, you know, justify beating up their wives mm -hmm. and men justify being cruel to women and also um, where young girls have been given into marriages where whether they like it or not and they feel like well as I, for me I've, growing up I feel like marriage should be you know some, something of a bliss for example but then you see someone of 14 my mom got married when she was 14 actually she, she had my sister when she was 15 which I think is over wrong anyways so and growing up I, I saw all of that and I felt like there's always something wrong with that it's not no that no there's no way something like this when someone is getting married they're crying I'm like no you should be happy you should. Like, you should be excited like you know I'm you know I want to I'm going to spend the rest of my life with someone I love with someone you know I want to have kids with but then they go like no you learn to love the person once you're married no I think that was wrong so you know you know I, I'm like I'm also a victim of um, abuse and that sort of thing so it was so wrong and I felt like I know how it feels in being abused and not having a voice to talk yeah. so you know growing up and whatnot so I felt like okay I should talk. I should talk about it. Let me see how that goes. So I started talking, I started talking, talking, talking. And then people started listening. So yeah. So you, you've launched several campaigns around rape, child abuse, domestic violence, yeah. and, and, and so on. So what do you hope to see for women and girls in Sierra Leone? I want to uh, see a Sierra Leone safe for children. I want to see a Sierra Leone safe for women. I want to see a Sierra Leone being friendly to women and children. I want to see a um, Sierra Leone where women and children so feel like this is our home. We're happy to be here mm -hmm. and we can do anything that we want and everything without being wondering, oh no, we cannot do that. Oh no, we cannot do that. No, if we do that, that's just gonna... So yeah, so that's what I envision for it. You know, what Sierra Leone should be like. That's the spirit. Yes. <laughs> so the, the other thing people don't know about you is you direct music videos. Yeah. And you directed um, Chief Bombolai yeah. by Joel. Yeah. So tell us more about it. Just direct videos. I'm a producer and a scriptwriter. I direct movies too. Wow. So <laughs> There's a multi talented person here. So I do that and I do have a, like a short film and whatnot that I did that has to deal with every, like all of my campaigns and whatnot. But when it comes to music videos, I direct all of my videos. Okay. So, yeah, I direct all my videos. And also, I directed Chief Bombo Life because of Chief Bombo. And I'm also trying to direct a couple of other videos. So it's something I love doing, and I could actually 
do is effort messy. Don't come for take all thing. Be legend, then coach them. Zidane pan this team. Thank God for party that we get to. We know they blow till we blow on our screen. I mean, I start. So you're planning to do it over and over? You plan on doing it more? Yeah, because I can do it like, like drinking tea in the morning. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. <laughs> Now I'm bringing you to what we call the 10 on the spot questions and I expect to get direct and straightforward answers from you. So, so should no I be lying. like... No I lying, no she's in. Oh really? Yes. No gray areas? No. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. This, no, this is a settle. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it is. It's not. Okay, let's go. Let's go. Are you ready? <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm ready. Okay. I think I think I'm ready. No, you should be ready. Okay, let's go. Number one, how did the name Fantasy Wiz came about? Oh, okay, that's a good one. I actually didn't give myself Fantasy, and I did, did I actually give myself Wiz. Fantasy was the name my dad used to call me since oh. when I was a kid. Oh, so. so cute. My dad is the first man I actually fell in love with. I'm still in love with him. Oh, wow. <laughs> so, so, yeah. I'm melting. He, <laughs> so he started calling me Fantasy, and I'm like, why not keep it? You know what I mean? So everyone that knows me from childhood and school, they always call me fantasy. fantasy. I'm like, yeah. Good, good. So, so things, okay. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wiz is my, it's for my elder sister, actually. Mm -hmm. So um, I do a lot of things. You've mentioned like a lot of things that I do. And anything that I do, it seems like it's the only thing I'm good at. Anything that I do is the only thing I'm good at. And I've got a sixth sense also. Wow. I've got a sixth sense. So my sister look at me like, ah. I called you a witch. A genius. You know what I mean? So she was the one that started calling me Wiz. So you know like the X Factor thing and stuff, when somebody uses something against you, you just take it and embrace it. So I decided to keep it fantasy Wiz, it works. She's cool, she's cool. <laughs> Question two, uh -huh. single or dating? I'm not married. So what does that mean, single or dating? I'm not single, single. But you're right. dating, dating. I'm dating. <laughs> <laughs> Give me high five, girl. Yes. <laughs> so, how, what would you do if you woke up as a man? Ooh. You know, actually, it's just a secret, yeah? All these rules, all these books that have been laid down against women, mm -hmm. men did that. Wow. So, I would just expose Change them. everything. Yes. So, yeah, that's what I would do. <laughs> <laughs> what would you what would you say is your happiest moment? There she's blushing. She, yeah. Cuz cuz everything I, I get this a lot of time and everything has to do with my mom. Surrounds oh. my mom. Yeah. You're melting. <laughs> I mean, I think I'm in love with my mom. Wow. <laughs> in a way. So everything I think every like my happiest moments like happens like every day because just seeing my mom's face and she's smiling and that's what you happy it's priceless and your worst experience <laughs> <laughs> what does that mean i'm trying to check <laughs> check what okay okay i think my worst experience was um because i started acting before i could actually sing mm -hmm. we had this performance and it was a skit we have to do it for the american embassy and then that was when Isaiah Washington knew that for some reason da, 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 he's, he's from Serbian. So he was there, was supposed to do a presentation and blah, blah. One minute into what we're supposed to do, I ate everything. Oh. Yes. So I stood there for like 30 seconds not knowing what to, what to say. Like I was, everything. Ev I, ate, I don't know what happened. <laughs> I don't know if he went with Lafidi, Kasaba, <laughs> I don't even know. But it just, <laughs> you know, it was embarrassing. Oh. It was embarrassing. Like, you know, as much as I didn't know that it was embarrassing. But to me, it was. I can't get it. No, okay. no, 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 no. <laughs> so since your fantasy, what is your fantasy? Okay. 
my fantasy is to actually fall in love, like mm. deeply in love and forgetting about everything in the world. Aww. Yes. And while, whilst I'm, you know, doing that or in that, you know, euphoria or whatever it is, and then we get to travel to places, me and that person. So, <laughs> so what are you bad at doing? Whenever I try to lie, people definitely know I'm lying. So I'm really nah, I'm not. So you're bad at lying. Yes. And <laughs> I, when I'm lying, I twitch and I feel uncomfortable. And we'll take that. People we'll that knows that. me knows that. Mm -mm. We'll take so that. that. It's, no, she's lying. <laughs> so, <yeah. laughs> so what's your favorite food? You know, we. I'm from Kabbalah. Mm -hmm. Actually, Lafayette is very popular there. Wow. But also, we have you know when you eat rice, cow butter cow milk and it <coughs> it's my favorite yes. <laughs> I would love to try that and you should it's and, fantastic. and and who's your best male rapper in Sierra Leone oops oh, that's a setup you're lying you're lying you're <laughs> lying you must call him now to me <laughs> I like a legit oh <laughs> boy All of us in the fighting, I don't want no more. I hope there he doesn't see this. He's gonna see it. There we have it. There we have it. Okay, now the last. Mm -hmm. Who's your idol? In the world. It's my mom. Her mom again? Yes. She is very, like, when I say strong, I haven't seen it. I'm not half as strong as my mom. She raised over. 13 kids that are not actually hers, single-handedly. My dad was in Sierra Leone. So my mom is my mom is like a rock. So yeah, I wish my I could mom. be her. My mom is great too. Um. You know, I'm bluffing with you, <laughs> Okay, that's it for the 10 on the spot. But before we wrap up, are you working on anything right now? And what should your fans expect from you? They should expect a lot of things as always, but I'm working on like a, like a song, a video, which sort of like is close to my heart. It means everything to me, and it's a video for Mama Mina Power. And I'm planning on involving as much as like 150 women from all walks of life. That's great. So that's like for me when that happens, it's like it's a wrap for 2018. But you know, in between that, I'm going to be. Um, you know, um, doing a couple of other videos, and the album is done. I'm trying to see how, you know, so when it out, or when should no, we expect it? No, that's gonna be like next year. Yeah, because oh. this year I've got like so many projects that might have to take me out of Sierra Leone, in Sierra Leone, out of Sierra Leone. So it's going to be crazy. So yeah, you should just keep up with me. You know, buy my social media handles, and you'll be fine. <laughs> so before you go. Since you're a fashion designer, I understand you bought a gift for your fans from the Fantasy Suites collection. Yes. What is that? Yeah, <laughs> I bought a few things that I wear because I wear me. Anything and everything I wear is just fantasy. Wow. I don't wear nobody's brand. Definitely. No. Yeah. So, yeah, it's just so, you know, so they say gifts. Yes. got this. Wow. I made this is handmade mm -hmm. and I need this and so but too bad it's just for females. I don't guys would actually just for She's females. a feminist yeah. and it isn't fair. Yeah no they could, well if you know if a guy for example his girlfriend wears this they're going to be slain so yeah one way or the other he's benefiting anyways. Okay. <laughs> so yeah and this is also this is like a neck piece. I love this because you have to do it. This is print. It looks and it's very creative. It's, it's unique to the creos in here. So, yeah. yeah, very nice. I have to. And this is also a neck piece and it's Gaia tie dye. Nice, I can see. So it's everything is for females. So guys are big enough. No more than me. She's uh, multi yeah. talented. <laughs> so I so, <wish> yeah. <laughs> I can win this. But we'll see about that. Oh.
Okay. So <laughs> if you want to win this lovely gift, you can follow us on social media, and that's Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, at Iper Multimedia. And you can also subscribe to our YouTube channel, Iper Multimedia, to find out how to win this. It has been a pleasure with Fantasy Weeks. Thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks for having me. It's been okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're proud of you and please continue to be you. Oh, I will. And thank you very much. You're really welcome. That. You're welcome. Hello everybody, I am Kino Amani, your favorite comedian. If you want to have more interesting stuff off the Spotlight Show, please don't forget to follow us on our social media angles. <laughs> Their social media angles. It's not my YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and subscribe.